We're talking about how to put together a Nano Lagoon. This is the 10 gallon inexpensive reef tank for newbies. It's a do-it-yourself project for those who want to get their hands on and not spend a lot of money in putting together what may be their first reef tank. We've bought the tank itself at Walmart. We've painted the bottom, put on a nice blue background. We've done the leak check and we've added the sand bed, a half an inch of crushed aragonite. And now we've just put together the reef structure itself using six pounds of aragonite rock that we have produced ourselves here at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms using the sand and a little bit of cement, Portland cement or white cement, into a nice mixture and form those into little pieces about the size of your hand and make sure that they have a little bit of texture, a little bit of curvature to them so that you can stack them up into something that looks like a wreath. Now, important points to remember here are that you don't want to fill the tank with rock. 10 gallon tank, five, six, seven pounds of rock, more than enough. It's ample. What you want is mostly empty space because once you stock this with corals and other invertebrates, their biomass will nicely fill out the tank. Um, when we look at this tank from the top, notice how we have left space around the reef structure itself. At least a couple of inches in the back, on the sides, and in the front. You don't want the rock bumping up against the glass. So leave some space. Try to make it stable. You put the larger pieces on the bottom, the lighter branchy pieces on the top, and this is where you can use your own imagination. But just looking at this structure, you can pretty much see what we were trying to achieve. They're kind of stacked and staggered in a way that uh, really does look like a reef. If you spent much time in the tropics, as I have actually 15 years, uh, diving on a daily basis in the reefs of Micronesia, you see a lot of areas uh, where waves have come through and left broken corals and rubbles and old coral heads and so forth, and you see a lot of areas that look like this. Now, of course, they're covered with living material and festooned with invertebrates and corals, but we will eventually get to that point with our nano lagoon tank. Let's review. When putting together the reef structure, go for lots of empty space, not a stacked cannonball approach. Try to make it stable so if you, if you touch it, it's not going to fall over. And above all, make sure you leave plenty of space in the back, in the front, and around the sides. And that completes the construction of your reef and the next step, which we will address in another video, is adding seawater to your 10-gallon Nano Lagoon tank. Mahalo.